if you guys like knot patterns that are super intricate and super textured, then this knot pattern is right for you. here and welcome to Bochnap Macrame. In this tutorial, I will be going over a textured and intricate knot pattern called the shell knot. So I know this knot pattern is called the shell knot, but the pattern itself is made up of two basic knots of macrame, the double half inch knot and the square knot. This knot pattern is very unique in that it has a raised dome-like shape resembling a turtle shell, hence the name shell knot. To get that raised dome-like shape, you do have to tie your knot super tight for this pattern. So making sure that you pull on your working cords and your anchor cords for every knot that you tie. If you guys are interested in more knot patterns just like this, we do have a knots and knot pattern series on our YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. I really hope you guys will enjoy this one. And with that said, let's get right to it. To demonstrate this knot pattern, I've attached five strands of cord at 300 centimeters long each onto a dowel with lark's head knots. To begin this knot pattern, we're going to start with the middle two cords. We're going to use the middle right cord as an anchor cord and the middle left cord as a working cord for a diagonal double half inch knot to the left side. Then continue with the row of diagonal double half inch knots to the left with the remaining cords on the left. Once the diagonal row of double half inch knots are made to the left, we're going to take the middle right cord as an anchor cord for a diagonal double half inch knot row to the right side this time. Now for this next part, we're going to separate out the middle eight cords with the middle left four cords, we're going to make a left facing square knot. Pull on the anchor cords and the working cords to tighten. Then on the right side with the right four cords, we're going to make a right facing square knot. And again, pull on the working cords and the anchor cords to tighten this knot. We do want everything on the inside of the diamond to be super tight. Now taking the middle right cord as an anchor cord and the middle left cord as a working cord, make a diagonal double half inch knot to the left. Then we're going to continue with three more diagonal double half inch knots onto the same anchor cord after this. Then taking the next cord down on the right side. So it should be one of the anchor cords from the square knot. We're going to bring it over to the left as an anchor cord for another row of four diagonal double half inch knots to the left.
take the next chord down on the right side and repeat for another row of double half inch knots. Take the fourth chord from the right and repeat for one more row of double half inch knots to the left. Once all four rows of double half inch knots are complete, make sure you pull on the anchor cores to tighten every row. Then with the left four cords in the middle, we're going to make another left facing square knot, making sure that this square knot's nice and tight again. And then with the middle right four cords, make a right facing square knot. At this point, the double half inch knot rows that we had just made should already start curling and caving into a nice dome shape. Then to finish off the rest of the pattern, take the middle right four cords, attach them one by one onto the far right anchor cord with double half hitch knots, making sure that each knot is made nice and tight. Now repeat the same thing on the left side, mirroring what we just did on the right side with four double half inch knots on the left side going diagonally to the right. Now for the last double half inch knot in the middle, pull on the two anchor cords and make one more diagonal double half inch knot to the left. And we are now complete with the shell knot pattern. And that's a wrap with our shell knot tutorial. What did you guys think of this one? Was it too difficult to make? Do you like that raised dome-like texture? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in intricate and textured knotting techniques, we do go over that in more detail on our Bochi Knot Macrame community on Patreon. Every month on Patreon, we go over a specific theme or specific knotting technique to master. So this month, we're going over 3D animal sculptures. So if you guys are interested in bringing animals into life with macrame, then you guys can join us over on patreon.com slash Bochi Knot for more details. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you click that subscribe button to stay tuned for our latest macrame tutorials. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.